my god, making money is so hard. It's not. Stop it. Money's so easy to get, and I'll, I'll explain how I do it. I level up characters and get their quest reward and their theme reward. I make gear on my characters that I make, and I sell it. And then I use the trade system to merchant gear that people make and sell for stupid amounts. And I invest in some items that I don't really need, but eventually I'll use. So starting off with playing alternate characters. Leveling up alts gives you so much money. And leveling a character to the level I get, which is 81, which is when you pretty much stop getting powder and stuff from quests. Uh, you get like 1.5 mil from the theme rewards alone, and then I think leveling up you get like at least another 1.5 mil. Uh, if you're leveling up characters past the point of getting like bulk powder and you're just trying to level up characters to level 100, uh, by the time you get to level 100 you're going to have 3 mil from your theme rewards and a whole lot more mesos from your quests. So then I'm going to talk about the powder and the rank up stones that I get from leveling up my characters. And this one sounds a little obvious, make some gear and sell it. It doesn't really matter how you make it, I level up 2 items to level 15, or 2 epic items to level 15 and then I fuse them into a unique and if it's good, I make a lot of money. If it's bad, I don't really lose money, but I don't make a whole lot. But I'm always on that emblem grind, boy. I will be full emblem one day. Or, if you don't want to risk it infusing items, you can always just level up an item that you get, or rank it up, and get it up to a good point that you want to sell it. I got a bow drop the other day, which had um 28 attack, and it was a common, which is the max attack that you can get on a common bow, so I know it was going to be good. So I'm currently leveling that one up to level 20 as a unique, and then I'm probably going to sell that for 35 mil. It would have only have costed me maybe 15 mil to make. So that is crazy easy money. But if you're thinking, but Mantis, you've, you've already got legendaries. You don't need to make any more. Yeah, but they're only level one legendaries. Other than my mythic weapon, they're all level one. So if you're making gear, get it to unique, level 20, and you can put it on. Put it on, that's fine. When you're done with that and you eventually want to start gearing up to Legendary Plus, fuse it with something. If you get something good, great. You can use it. If you get something you don't want, just sell it. It's tradable again. You'll make loads of money. Duh. Alright, so now that I've talked about making the gear, uh, let's just talk about the gear that we're getting from drops now. Thank God that they've put in actual item drops from mobs. Uh, we can get a whole bunch of epics. I mean, the commons, most of them are going to be trash. The rares, most of them are trash. Uh, you can extract them, get some gold leaves and some cold cubes, or, or level up some gear with it, really. But uh, some of the epics, they go for like 250k. Some of them go for like 50k. But some of them go for a lot. And then the super high stat, like common or rare items, I mean, they sell for like a mil. If you get like a max stat one, at least. Alright, now that we've got some money and or we've made some gear to sell, plop it on the trade system. I use this thing to sell gear. I use this thing to merchant anything I see that is low priced, like this unique pirate outfit. I saw it last night for 2 mil. 2 mil? It costs 1.6 mil just to rank it up. And another 1 mil at least to level it from level 1 epic to level 15 epic. I can't lose money on it. I'm going to sell it for at least 4.5 mil. Someone used their valuable ass powder and then threw it away. I'll take that. Alright, so that was an easy merchant and now I'm going to talk about kind of the investment side of what I buy. If I see like a level 10 epic bow and it's 500k, I will buy it. Because, like I said with the outfit, it costs 500k just to get it there. Let alone the item itself and then the powder that you've used. So eventually, I'm probably going to fuse it. But now I don't need to use my own powder. So I've saved money and time. And I've seen level 15 epic items as low as like 80k. I don't know why. Maybe they meant 800k. Even if they meant 800k, it's still a good purchase. Level 15 costs at least 1 mil. And as a weapon, it costs at least like 1.4 mil. It's like being handed money. Just buy them. Now this is a great example of something not to buy. But this, it's a bloody bargain. It's level eight, it's tradable still, it's only 500k. I'll show you how much. 
level up. Epic. 46, close enough to 50. Level 8, basically 500k. Now, next time I want to fuse an item, I'm going to save 50 powder. What a bloody ripper. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully this video has helped you in the ways of making money. And now you will be able to one day afford to make legendaries, despite how ridiculously expensive it is. Just grind it out and you will get there. Have faith. Like, comment and subscribe. Mm, boy.